Hi guys, uh, people, do third video of the night. Apologies for the light, it's rather dark outside since it's about uh, 20 past 11 in the evening. Right, okay. One of the things that I bought for um, my Bedini system is one of the old style analog meters that you can see um, on my feedback to source update 10 video. Um, now, a lot of people that um, are on YouTube that uh, surf the um, um, all the uh, sort of over Unity claims and Unity claims and whatnot um, rant and rave about the use of multimeters to measure voltage and current and whatnot. Um, saying that they're inaccurate and you should use the old style analog needle meters. Uh, While well you guys listen up, right. take a look at this. Oh, bugger, it's dark this end. Right, anyway, I'll try and show you this. My Bedini G Field add on running quite nicely there. It's a little bit lopsided because um, I clouted it, unfortunately. Uh, so I'll sort that out later on. But anyway, right. Take a look at this multimeter reading 60 milliamps. And yes, I've disconnected my uh, um, recovery coils because otherwise that causes problems. Right. 60 milliamps and what does that read? 60 milliamps. Oh lucky. They're about the same. The fluctuations on the meter will probably be resistance on the wires since I've just hooked it up quickly. Alright. So We'll stick those two there. There you go. I've not tuned this before anyone says it. So I will now alter if I can get my screwdriver in. Oh, blooming neck, I need two hands. Hang on, give me a sec. Stay. I will put it there. there we go. That's got it right. I'm going to uh, adjust my Bedini, and you can see both meters. <laughs> do 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 do. And about fifty. Yep. coming nicely there. So about 40 milliamps and 40 on the gauge. Hmm, interesting. Let's go down a bit lower. 3, 4, 3. This is the point where I start getting weird results from my Bedini. 30 milliamps. It says 30 on the needle gauge. Oh, wonderful! Oh, look. Let's uh, detune it. It has 60 milliamps. Whoops, just slip the screwdriver. That's 70. Yeah, it looks 70 on the needle gauge. Let's see if we can go any higher. No, nope, that's as high as it's going to go. 70 milliamps is the maximum my Bedini will draw. But oh look, guys. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Multimeters and needle gauges read the same thing. Now that I've annoyed people, um, 
whenever anyone now posts uh, any crap about the use of multimeters, uh, well, you'll be redirected to this video. So, it looks to me, on my setup, that multimeters do in fact give a correct reading. Hmm. Talk to you later, guys.